There are everyday homes, and there are homes with a little something extra. I'm Kelly Ellis, designer, artist, and lifelong traveler. I've been fortunate enough to see some truly incredible places in every corner of the world. But now I'm gonna take you with me behind the doors of some seriously phenomenal homes. From custom bowling alleys to sprawling car galleries, from skybox lounges to bespoke personal resorts and more. We're gonna take a deep dive into the world of absolutely, fabulously, utterly extravagant home design. This is Extravagant Spaces. I am already in love with this home. It looks stunning. Where are we? We're on the north side of Camelback Mountain today. We've been kind of revolving around Camelback Mountain. So I've seen lemon trees beautifully yeah. spotted amongst property, but I have never in my life seen a lemon hedge. So here, instead of the sour orange hedge, which we normally do, we used a lemon hedge. How I beautiful is that? I love it. Because you can eat the lemons. You can't eat the sour oranges. We might take a couple of those on our way out. Yeah, let's go. Want to show me? Yep, come on. <laughs> Absolutely stunning courtyard. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so we used a lot of reclaimed materials. We got the re reclaimed Chicago brick. We whitewashed the brick. It's a mixture of brick, brick and stucco on the exterior of the house. And then we added the slate roof. So we really brought that kind of English manor uh, feel here to Arizona. And it's so lush and green. I actually forgot I was in the desert for a minute. But let's go see the inside. Okay, wow. Beautiful. I mean, you just walk into this big, beautiful space, mixture of traditional and modern. What? I mean, really. So this is the essence of transitional. This mm -hmm. is kind of when the transitional started to happen when we mm -hmm. did this house. And I just love that mixture. It's a real fine line of where that pendulum lands, right? Yeah, I love it too. And I love this just expansive view. You've got all of Camelback Mountain. Yeah, we have the entire profile of Camelback Mountain, city light views, these doors multi-slide and completely open, so it just completely connects you to the outdoors. Of course, of course they do. And beautiful ceilings per usual. Love my ceilings, as you know. <laughs> Here we brought in some bowstring trusses with the shiplap wood, just to, again, add that little bit of warmth and texture to the space. And take the edge off the contemporary. It's stunning. And I mean, you, please. Hey, I don't mind having a cocktail. I'd rather have a detour <laughs> before I get to the kitchen island because that's where everyone always wants to go. So here we did this fabulous bar. It's like checking into a great hotel, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yes, that's exactly and how it, it feels. It makes you stay here in this room. It activates the living room. It activates a lot of things. Really a stunning space. What else can we see? You ready to go see the primary suite? I love it. Come on. So I just love your design so much, and I realize that you are a master of hallways. Well, I love the transitions, okay? Mm -hmm. And I know there's the thought about the open plan and everything, but I think it's really nice to have these transitions that kind of take time and, and you, know, you have an arrival point. And then there's also the sound factor. Oh, right. It really separates things, so it's really nice and private back here. I just love how, since this is the primary suite, that you're just, it takes a little while to get here. Right. So you really feel removed right. from the rest of the house. And the rest of the time. It, I love it. Yep. I love it. Yep. Didn't disappoint. It's special, all right. Well, a lot of people make the bedrooms too big. Mm -hmm. I purposely kept this in a size that's very comfortable, very cozy. And then again, with the windows, we switched the windows up. You saw the steel black windows in the great room. Here in the primary suite, we used wood clad windows just to soften it up a little bit. I love the mix of materials. Again, I think that's gonna be a theme throughout this house, but it's just so well done. I see some modern touches, some traditional touches, the wall coverings, the brick on the wall. I just love the way this feels. Oh, we even had fun with the brick. Here we have the whitewashed brick, but then right here, we painted it gray. I love it. So it's a little mixture. It's a really beautiful home. I know the bathroom's going to be special as well. I wanna go see it. Let's go check out okay. the bathroom. Wow, so beautiful. Oh my gosh, Mark, so much marble. Don't you love the light and bright in this space? This And again, so we mixed the much. wood windows with the steel. Once we got in the tub, it's like a conservatory. So we have the steel black windows with the full view of Camelback Mountain. Wow, what an incredible place. This is really a resort. I feel like I'm in a spa. It's in a spa. And you got access to the outside with the outdoor shower and out to the pool. So it makes it really easy living. 
Easy living is an understatement. I love it's masculine, but it's feminine. All this marble just makes me feel so, I don't know, regal. Yeah, can you imagine sitting in this tub and just yes. taking in that view every evening? Yes, How I can. How fabulous would that be? I can absolutely imagine that. We just transitioned into the most incredible office ever. This, this again is one of my favorite offices. I just love the whole vibe and feel of this space. Isn't it just fantastic? I need to sit down. There's so much to take in. The ceiling, again. The heaven of the architecture. I'm in heaven. It really is beautiful. Again, it's masculine. I'm assuming this is his office. This is his office. And you can see the beautiful fabrics they wove into the coffered ceiling. And then you got the uh, leaded glass to add that old feeling. Yes. Then you get this beautiful modern art and just the whole layout's very, very modern, you know, direction. It's transitional, like you said transitional before. Transitional again, yes. I've got an antique desk, modern art, all the things, but it's the color that's so rich. Everything pops from it. I think that's what makes it really set the tone right. and everything just pops off. But what I color. also love is it has a timeless nature to this. Mm. I don't think this is ever going to get old looking, you know, no. in a bad way. No, yeah. no. It's perfect. Really beautiful space. It's a fun kitchen. Yes, yeah, so open and pretty. Oh, I love the fireplace. Yep. <gasps> so at the courtyard. Kitchens are living rooms we eat in, cooking, right? <laughs> yeah. Yep. This is the heart of the house. Heart of the house, right here. Again, you've got the beautiful courtyard for morning coffee. And this connects right up to the family room. You got the fun ceiling with the pendant lights and. So, so good. Wow, beautiful. This is such a nice, nice spot. Cheerful. It's warm. Yeah. The house is warm. I really, I really enjoy and it. And it's not, again, not an overpowering size kitchen. We've got a nice no. little back kitchen to do the workhorse, but this is just a nice scale and size with the breakfast, fireplace, just everyone stays together. I love it, but I, I can't, I mean, I'm just, I'm gonna move right past the kitchen, this beautiful spot, and you. Got to tell me what I'm looking at over there. Well, let's get in there <laughs> so you can on. fully take appreciation of what we've got hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> I'm sorry, but what am I looking at? I have seen canoes on a ceiling, but I've never seen an entire boat. This Are you is a kidding? Chris Craft boat, full size. I, don't, I think the motor's out of it, but we had to figure out the weight of this whole thing. They love their boat, and we said, well, I remember the meeting. We just said, well, why don't we just park one on the ceiling? He goes, right. oh my God, I love that. We can be around our boat the whole year. Wow, <laughs> I cannot get over this. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. You can see this This almost feels like you're in a tent, the shape of the ceiling. Yes. So it's kind of Adirondack camping, and you're camping in your family room, right? This is a really fantastic space. It's got the shuffleboard, indoor, outdoor bar, and you know, the big TV. We brought some of the brick in, so it's got that indoor, outdoor feeling. Wow. Everything happens here. Yeah, well, this is this was the original house, okay? okay? This was the fun room. This is where we were dreaming we were in summer, okay? <laughs> yeah. But then they bought the lot next door. Oh. And so they loved where we went with this whole room. They bought the lot next door, so we could just keep going and take it up another notch or two. Stop it. This Ready? is So this is not the fun room? Well, this was the fun room, but now we have a whole <laughs> fun lot. <laughs> okay. Looking at. Well, we have the beautiful white Tudor, you know, inspired house. Of course. But then we transitioned to the party barn. So we got the reclaimed wood, the metal, the barn doors. A little putting here's green. The, here's the property line. So here's where we bought the new property, and we decided let's go all out and make it the party barn. Oh, I am, I'm blown away. Isn't this fun? I'm, I'm blown away. Just wait. <laughs> she can't. You know what? I, I, I should not be surprised. But every time you get me over and over again. That's my job. That's my job. We have a lot of fun in here. We got TV, we got a bar, we got poker table, we got ping pong, we have golf simulator. What? This is so incredible. I really love, I just, I love what you did here. Well, after you're done golfing and playing ping pong and poker and having a few cocktails, you know, it's time to, to get back to taking care of yourself. Right. So from here, we go right into full court basketball. Stop. Yeah, let's go I, check that out. I didn't even know. Wow and wow. That's all I have. Wow. <laughs> this, I can't believe this was not a warehouse. How? It looks like an old warehouse, right? That it, was the whole idea. We wanted to make it feel like it also had been here, you know, for years and years and years, and we converted it. That's exactly how it looks. Yeah, so we have the board and batten, we have the old reclaimed brick, we got the steel trusses that are uplighting the wood ceiling. You've got these big, massive doors to the view, and yeah. you can open those, obviously, but it's just so When incredible. it's a cool day in Arizona, we open them up, okay? <laughs> yeah. 
And then we got the beautiful bleachers back here, the reclaimed, old, restored, found bleachers. How cool are those? So incredible. And these are legit. Oh, this is full court all the way with the full scoreboard. Wow. Just wow. Yep. I would... They hold big events in here. They do charities, functions. They open this all up, fill up the whole yard. And then they've got his and her bathrooms that are just tricked out. So it really functions for a lot of different things, fun and games, and then, you know, charity and giving back to the community. Can we, can we throw some basketballs in? Can we let's try? Go, let's go toss a few let's go I really want to try. <laughs> wow. It's so good. All right, let's see if I can get this in, huh? Let's do it. Okay. I don't know. Oh, no. Your turn, your turn. Come on. Oh. Boom. Yay! Nicely done. <laughs> I played okay, a lot gotcha. of basketball when I was a you kid. You did? Yeah, for a short guy, right? Yes! There you go. <laughs> That's so fun. Oh what, my gosh. It? I would never leave here. Let's do it. Oh Woo! yeah. Two in a row. You're on a roll now, girl. <laughs> this is so fun. I love this room. This is great. This is fun. So good. Oh, we have more. You ready uh, for a little workout? That was just a warm-up. I am. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. Do Come it. on. Come on, we're gonna run. Okay. How's this for a room for working out, huh? Beautiful. This looks like a legit gym. This is legit all the way. And I you mean... got this beautiful connection with the Dutch door out to the outside and get the corrugated, you got some shiplap, but you got the reclaim, so you got all the rustic materials. You do, you have all the touches. It really still looks like an old building you've right. converted. But this has got every piece of equipment. I mean oh, yeah. no need to join the club with this room. No, this is serious. <laughs> and here we are, a little guest, little guest quarters. Little guest quarters. This is a guest house right off the Right off of the that. gym, yeah. Get your workout in and come in here and take a little power nap. Wow. Okay, so, I mean, this building really has everything. Has everything. Kitchen, craft room, toy storage. Golf simulator, full gym, bar, workout room, massage room. Batting cages, baseball diamond. I, I don't even know. I, I think we've hit every sport, every activity. Yes. Wow, and then look at this. This is for everybody, full family. Full family. You can bring the kids, let them just bunk it out right can, there. Can we go lay down? Let's go take okay. it. I'm ready for a power nap. <laughs> Me too. I am in awe of this house. So much fun. We had a lot of fun, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. You're in awe? I am in awe. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I am too. We this played basketball, weird. we worked out, we went to the bar. I'm ready for a nap. Me too. And this is a perfect, cute little Isn't nook. Isn't this great? This is an incredible. We're really, bunking. Really, really, really job well done. Thank you. This is so much fun, isn't it? Yes. All right, if we could just take 10 oh, minutes. Can we just take now. 10? Yeah. <laughs>